in reality television, this is Good Morning Denmark. I'm Jeff Krug. And I'm Jennifer Lynch. Today, we're going to be taking a closer look at the shocking and tragic death of the former bachelorette Ophelia. This tumultuous and emotional season ended with a surprising display of bachelorette Ophelia's unique emotional instability. Over the season, we've seen emotional highs and lows of Ophelia and Hamlet's relationship grew from a cruel, a cruel introduction to a passionate love affair, all of which came to a dramatic climax on the show's finale. Now almost two months since the finale, Ophelia has been found dead in a river near her Denmark home. Neither her brother Laertes nor the Royal House of Denmark have released a formal statement, leading the police to suspect suicide or other foul play in the death of the young star. The location of her funeral is yet to be determined and hinges on results from the autopsy. Her introduction to Hamlet sparked a steamy love affair to carry the show for months, but this idyllic romance was short-lived. Not a month before the final rose ceremony, Hamlet was on trial for the murder of Polonius, Ophelia's father. Welcome back to Good Morning Denmark. Joining us this morning is Hamlet. <laughs> After appearing on The Bachelorette and destined to win the final flower, as well as Ophelia's heart, he mysteriously dropped out of the show, and today he's here to ask, answer some of our fans' questions. Thank you for coming on today's show, Hamlet. It's my pleasure. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So, Hamlet, we were wondering why you chose to leave the show even before Ophelia began acting different. Well, my mom is off in so many places due to events happening more real life outside of the television world. So, I mean, I just didn't have the concentration placed on winning Ophelia's heart when it could be placed elsewhere. That uh, seemed more important to me at the time. Ah, fans of the show have been questioning why you've been giving Ophelia the cold shoulder as well as acting a bit off, leading up to your leaving the show. Was this a part of your strategy? To get more interested in you, or to be a byproduct of your being distracted by other events? All right. Well, it was definitely a strategy that I was employing, but it wasn't to win Ophelia, but rather to get the attention of another person, not, not a female, I'll clarify that, but to get their attention and you know, help out with what else was going on in my life. Oh, so it's a mystery then. Seems so. Hmm. Well, the last question we have for you, Hamlet, is we were just hoping that you would comment about uh, Ophelia's recent suicide. Right. Well, people have a lot, a lot of people have been having theories about why she committed suicide. My leaving definitely had some impact on her emotional state, and the absence of my charm and wit, I mean, obviously, affected her, but not to the point of suicide. I mean, I'd have to agree with most everybody else. It was her father's death that brought her to this conclusion. Now, you're currently on trial for the murder of her father, and there's uh, a significant amount of evidence that suggests that you were involved. Do you have any comment on that? Well, I'm not able to uh, disclose any information on the subject at this time, but, I mean, it was it's complete BS. I was not there. I had no connection to that murder. Well, any closing comments for us? For those who wondered if I really did um, care about Ophelia, I was completely in love with her, and I wish I could take back what I had done. Thanks, thanks very much for coming on the show, Hamlet. That's my pleasure. When we come back, we have a uh, special interview with a psychologist to talk about Ophelia's melancholy and the events leading up to her suicide. Stay tuned. This is Good Morning Denmark. Joining us this morning is renowned psychologist Dr. Catherine Deliberti to help shed some light on her shocking and tragic demise. Hi, Catherine. Thank you, thank you. It's doctor, actually, but don't worry about that. All right, well, Dr. Catherine, can you give us exactly what you think has been going on with Ophelia? Of course, I would love to. Um, Ophelia seemed to have suffered from what Shakespeare would have referred to as melancholy. In today's world, that is simply known as going crazy. In the Elizabethan era, it was actually Dr. Thomas Bright who brought this attention to this disease. In fact, Bright's book, Treaties of Melancholy, had a huge influence on Shakespeare. He states that with actually melancholic humors, being cold by nature, settle in the spleen, which causes the vapors to rise past the heart to the brain. This causes the unreasonable behavior. In Ophelia's case, um, love and grief seem to be the cause of her melancholy, obviously losing Hamlet, the love of her life, and her father. It is sad she didn't go and see someone like me. I could have helped her. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, suicide is never the answer. And please, don't forget to pick up a copy of my new book, Save Me or Save Yourself, on shelves now. Well, how interesting. It seems that something is most definitely rotten in the state of Denmark. Stay tuned, everyone. This is Good Morning Denmark.
Good morning, Denmark. I'm Jennifer. I'm Jeff. We've been talking today about the bachelorette star Ophelia, who was recently found dead in her own bathtub, suspected of committing suicide. We've put together a special Good Morning Denmark compilation of unseen footage and clips from the bachelorette to illustrate her mental decline. I remember when I lost my 